Hi, I'm Helen from eSpares. If you find that the brush bar on your DC25 is not turning properly, this is likely to be due to one of three things. I'm going to remove the cleaner head assembly so I can show you. So I just need to pull up this button and pull the cleaner head towards me. Now, firstly, it may be due to the brush bar being clogged or damaged. You can see me replacing this in another video. Secondly, it may be due to the motor. Now the DC25 brush bar is powered by a separate motor which is located here. This is not available as a separate spare part, so if there's a problem with it, you'll need to replace the entire cleaner head assembly. Lastly, it may be due to the belt that powers the brush bar, which is located here. This is available as a separate spare part, and in this video I'll show you how to replace it. So, we'll start by removing these eight screws. For this, I require a Torx key. A set of these are available on the eSpares website. So now that I've removed all the Torx screws, I need to remove this screw here, which is a crosshead or Phillips screw, which holds this wheel in place. Now that I've removed the final screw, I'm going to remove the wheel cover and wheel. And now I'm going to separate the two halves of the cleaner head. So now you can see the dedicated brush bar motor and the belt. Now if there's a problem with your belt, you'll see it now. Either the teeth will be worn away or it'll be slack or it may have even snapped completely. But as this one's fine, I'm going to have to lever it off using a flathead screwdriver. Now all I need to do is put the new belt on. And then put the cleaner head back together. There we go, that's the cleaner head reassembled. So now we just need to reattach it to the Dyson. Now this can be a little tricky. There we go, one drive belt replaced on a Dyson DC25. Thanks for watching.